let's move to the rigging part so for the rigging i'm going to select the head first and i'm going to apply the subdivision so i'll choose two and apply and for the body to choose one and apply the subdivision here we'll have this let's select the head I'm going to add look cut for the ears so that we have more polygons around the ear side now let's go and rig it so shape plus scatter to the world and here to shape plus e and i'm going to add rig so and i go to amateur i go to basic and i'm going to add human meta rig let's go to s3 and let's scale it up now i'll press that go to edit mode and i'll select this hands let's make sure s mirror has been checked so when you rotate it will rotate on the other side minus 30 degrees and let's move it top here here and align it to there. Let's select it, uh, uh, this part. So use B for both select. Yeah, I'll select this one and I'll move to align it. So best way to go to side view and let's match. So here, I'm going to select this, move it here, to align with the hands. This one is good, so what I'll do is, I'll select the bone, and let's go rear port and in front. Here, select the bone, Control plus A, and apply this key. Then, let's go to here, the bone. When you go to edit and we select this, I'm going to set this. We have the bendy, and I'll set this one to 5. And I'll set this one also 5. It will apply to this side. You can see, because we are using S mirror. After this, let's go and generate our rig. Data, property, and you click on generate. This will generate rig for our character like this. So here I'm going to hide this bone and I'm going to select this and select the body. So we need to select the body and the head and shift select the rig control plus B and let's choose with automatically. Now when you go to post mode, we can now control the bone. You can control the character with this. Okay, this one, I like this one. Now the next thing is I'm going to give another subdivision to the head. So I'm going to give subdivision and now you can see uh, the eyes and everything has set back. So I'm going to give another subdivision to the body also. And this is good. So when you go to post mode and go to your character, you see everything is fine. So now left with the tail and the ears. So how can we do that? And how can we make this one follow the ears and the others? So I'm going to reset all my controls. Let's go back to post mode, object mode and save what we have. Now, when you go to data and we have bone collections here. Let's go to post mode and now you can see every bone you will select, you will, know, you will see which collection is belong to. Like when you select the head, you can see it belongs to the torso. When you select this, it belongs to the torso. But when you select the foot, you can see it belongs to the leg dot L I K. So here, let's go to edit mode and we need to select the torso control. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to press Alt plus S Kaiser to select. Let's select the head and let's go to edit mode. Alt plus clay and we're going to choose Kaiser to select it. Select our rig again and let's go to edit mode and make sure you have selected the torso collection. This one has been selected and press Shift plus E and add a bone. Now we are going to align it to this side and I'll move it here. Now I'll press W to subdivide three times or two times. This good. So here I don't want this part to be deformed, so I'll move this one to here and now i'll go and name this one as bone.l so i'll add dot l to all of them and i'll paste this one here after this i can select this the last bone and then shift select this and control plus p and choose keep offset now this one has parented to this and all of this is a chart of this so i'm going to use b to select this and go to amateur and use symmetrize 
now it will symmetrize to this side now let's go and do one for the tail so for the tail make sure we select this and know which collection is belong to you can see here it belongs to the torso thread edit with the cutter select alt click and shift and click to select it now let's select the bone i'll rig again go to post edit mode and make sure so i'll select this torso thread and select this and now I'm going to press shift plus A and add a new bone. Here I'm going to align it to the tail here. Move this one inside and I'll subdivide it. Here I'll try and move this one. I'll try and move this one inwards so this one will match the tips of here. Now I'll select this and shift select this one and control plus P and then i'll choose keep offset now when you go to post mode now you can see we have uh, this and when you go to the rig ui here and now you disable the torso you can see this one has been hide because we put all them all of them the es1 into the torso and when you hide the torso track the t1 also hide so now we are going to parent this one again so select this and shift select the body select the ring control plus p and choose with automatic rate now let's go to post mode again and now we can see we can control the ears here and also have to control the head and then we can also rotate the tail so when you go to here and choose individual you can have this nice rotation of it you can press or join alt plus r to reset everything now we are going to add something to the mouth and the eyes movement here i'm going to apply the mirror modifier so and then i'll go to and select this and choose p and add selection now we can have separate eye like this and we can control each of them separate now this is what i'm going to do because we want to this one to move along with the uh with the rig i'm going to add child of constraint so when you go to the constraint and give it a child of constraint and i'm going to select the rig now for the boon it's called head set the inverse to make it back to the original now when you go to post mode and now we move this you can see the mouth stick to it for this one we can give it a shape key of blinking and other like that so i'm going to give this one also constraint so we can shift select this and shift select the mouth and go to the constraint and we can just copy and it will be simple for us now you can see all of them move along since we have mirror modifier that's why this one is doing like that so i'm going to remove the mirror modifier and i'm going to give it a shape key of blinking so here yeah, i'll give it base and then name this one as blink and i'll go to edit and scale it like this now we can use this one to control the eye size and we can also have key and let's go and design something like this also we can also design something cool now after this you can shift the duplicate and bring it to the side and both of them will have the same shape keys we can control both of them at the same time by going here and copy as a driver copy as new driver go here and then select this and paste driver now when you move this both of them will have the same shape so i'm going to do the same for key 2 copy as new driver go here put key 2 and paste now with this one select we can have both of them have the same kind of shape key at the same time so we can select both of the eyes and move them separate like this now we can use the head to rotate this uh, this one also moving so i'm going to select both the eyes so shift select the eye purple shift select this let's go to the constraint tab and then let's copy now i'm going to call this eye purple so now when you go to post mode we can control our character here while everything is moving along it has left with the nose that one is very easy select and shift select select this and shift select the head and control plus p and choose boom now it will move along 
so now we need shape key for the mouth for the mouth shape key because we are using path so we go to the path here and we can click and give it a base and give it one and let's go to edit and here we can have a mouth shape so i'm going to call this a mouth close And let's get another one and this one we call o shape so go to here and i'm going to select this two and scale it to zero now we go here we can have our o shape we can create a connect and that connect one i'll set this one to zero inside and for the zero inside i'll select this and this one and i'll scale this one to zero so when i keyframe this one will be set to zero so if i use this one and i select the relative to the zero and i give it we have this but if i set this one to zero and i keyframe this we will not see uh, the inside the uh, mouth moving like this you can see we have this kind of mouth movement you can also use this one to move it across the side 